Welcome to another edition of the Mark Ballard Show. I have a very special guest by the name of Byron Colburn. He represent uh, Speak Positive, Dream Big, Youth Influencer. He's a youth influencer, man. You can't get no better than that, man, to try to uplift and try to get these kids in line and in, in, in the right perspective in life. Absolutely. Anything you want, just, brother, just go ahead and unload, bro. Um, well, I'll just give y'all a little story, man. Um, 2011, I came up with something clever, which was Speak Positive, Dream Big. At that moment, it was trying to bring something value to myself mm -hmm. like man i need something positive to be able to empower myself because mm -hmm. it started with me first before i get into how it expanded right so a long story short um i was just sitting in my bed man like man speak positive and then i, I noticed i went outside and i heard these kids you know dream big dreamy so i'm like whoa speak positive dream big that's mm -hmm. gonna be my foundation. Mm -hmm. So I never forget this day, man. Um <clears throat> I was incarcerated and um uh, one of the OGs had told me and I like to use OG because that's kind of like my error, mm -hmm. but uh he had mentioned something to me. He was like, "This ain't the place for you." Mm -hmm. And I never knew what that meant then. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean this ain't the place for me? Like I I placed myself here. Mm -hmm. He was like, "You need to go out there and, and be some inspiration. You got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. At this age, you have a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. So it stemmed from that to speak positive, dream big, to writing a book, 30 days peer inspiration to, you know what? I'm about to tackle the, the communities. Mm -hmm. And now at that point, I couldn't tackle the um, communities because I was traveling, traveling the world a lot. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would motivate through social media. Mm -hmm. And that's how people started to like, yo, I like that cat. Mm -hmm. You know, that dude is wise or he been through a mm -hmm. lot, you know, just mm -hmm. by the messages or whatever, man. So then it got from social media to, wait a minute, let me see what I can do with the kids. Because I understand that some of us grew up in single households. Mm -hmm. Some of our parents are either dead, locked up, or just not present. Mm -hmm. So now you leave the mother or the father, because it can go both ways, right? Mm -hmm. So now you leave them two with a, 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 a program or the plan to be like, yo, I got to take care of these kids by myself. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, the influence comes in. Like, you know what? Don't worry. I got you. Mm -hmm. Whatever I can do to service you, what can I do to be a service to you? Absolutely. Right? Right. So now, moving forward, now I'm actually... Connect them with the parents, then connect them with the kids. Because if I got the parents, I got the kids. It mm -hmm. stems down from something. Mm -hmm. I don't care where it is. It stems down from something. So now, this is where Mr. B comes in. I'm not your typical mentor. Like, that's what I always say. I'm not your typical mentor. I'm going to get on your level. I'm going to understand you because most kids, they, they just want you to understand them, right? Mm -hmm. So now when you understanding them, now you're not even just mentoring. Now you're an influencer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm influencing them to understand that it's okay to be you, but you, you can do greater things. That's it, man. That's what we got to do and instill in these kids, man, and in our older ones, the older ones as well, because absolutely, uh, a lot of people need the encouragement and they let them know that they can make it in life. And it's been a lot of doors shutting my face just as well as your door. You know, doors been shutting your face as well. Absolutely. People don't know how to take it as well as some guys, as we call ourselves, humble guys, mm -hmm. um, let's try to think of a way for them to even just try, try to just take the chase, like take it all away and just think positive and dream big. That's it. I don't understand. I mean, some things you can't just get across to people. When you, when you think about it, speak positive, dream big, it's explanatory. You speak in positive, that's energy. Let's go on a... a, 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 a um, an adult level. Mm -hmm. We will call that energy, mm -hmm. right? Kids will look at that as speaking positive. Mm -hmm. Dream big is more so as an adult, like, yo, you can do anything you want. To a child is put your mind to it and you will conquer. See mm -hmm. the two difference? Yeah. So it's like, like you said, speak positive, dream big is actually just being free, motivated, energized, knowing that, yo, you can conquer in any storm, grown or young or younger. You got to be willing to do, go there, though. Yeah. I mean, it's so easy for you to fall victim to negative energy. Mm -hmm. 
but it's even more harder to, to gravitate towards the positive because you know you're doing well, and the devil gonna always try to infiltrate and try to come up with his evil schemes against you. So you gotta be on point. On, that's if you want to be what on to, yeah, there you, go. <laughs> you can't make nobody do nothing. You gotta be tired. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, like I said on shows before, you gotta be tired of mm -hmm. negative energy. Mm -hmm. If you love it, you're going to keep on resorting to the same old BS. You already know. Yeah, because, and this is another thing that I've learned. I call it, it's still your set, right? Mm -hmm. And the only reason why I still call it your set is because when you go to a gym, you got different weight. You know, it's going to be lighter, it's going to be heavier, or it's going to be heavier. Mm -hmm. Now, usually, if I tell you to go in there and pick up a heavy weight and you've never ever lift weights before, the first thing you go say is it's too hard, man. I can't I can't lift this. Mm -hmm. But we forgot the missing piece. You never tried. Mm -hmm. So you never <laughs> tried before you even lift up. You just, oh man, I can't do that, man. That looked too that mm -hmm. looked too heavy. And that's what happens with a lot of us where we go through life and it gets so difficult, we revert back to what we're used to. And like you said, it stops the it stops the whole process because now it's like I'm not willing to do what's hard. I'm willing to just pretty much just do the things that are easy. Yeah. And if they just put their mind to it, like yo, if you come from a struggle, you already know what it feels like. Mm -hmm. But the mind psychs you out. Mm -hmm. It's psyching you out of thinking that it's something new when it's just like a repeatedly asked song. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Some people just love it. I just don't know why they get a kick out of it because <laughs> it definitely get a kick out of your life because it's you're not accelerating, you're not you're not you're not trying to move on, you're not trying to move forward, you're not trying to be positive, you're not trying to be humble. So what are you trying to be? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what are you trying to be? Yeah. That's the question. And that's where I come in to be like, okay, you know what? I know you're having a hard time trying to change. Since you can't do it on your own, I'm not saying I'm going to grab your hand, but I'm going to give you an idea of what it looked like. Because I done been through probably what you've been through, or maybe you've been through some things, but I've been through a lot of life to know that, okay, I can switch this narrative up. Mm -hmm. Because if you can go from selling drugs to getting locked up to being a motivational speaker to being an author, why can't nobody else? And I got this three where if, if I can do it, I put people so high where I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. Like, the, you know the saying where they be like, ah, oh, man, you know, I'm not like you. You're not like me, but you can put the same work in. To be better than to me. To be better than me. Absolutely. <laughs> be better than us. You know what I mean? What be is wrong better. with you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, like, what is wrong with you, yo? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever need to hear this need to hear this. Get this. You already know. Yeah, together. Get it together. Get it together. can't curse on national TV, but get it together, though. Get it. You got to be willing to do it. It ain't nobody. We're not going to hold your hand. We can only lead you to the water for you to drink it. Yeah, absolutely. God, man. Man, absolutely. I'm telling you, and this is why I'm so deep and rooted into the purpose. Like, I don't even look at it as a game. I look at it as purpose because we need people like myself, like other people out here in the community to be able to embrace people only if you want it. Mm -hmm. So if you say the resources ain't right there, they are right there. You just don't want to tap in. Don't want to tap and in. And the mission is, let's grab them all, let's win them all, so we can all be all what, be greater. What is the what is the reason for them not to tap in? They lazy. That's gonna be one. That's a good one. That's a that's actually a, a good one or. Fear. People fear the unknown. I just don't understand it. If they, I mean, they fear to get their lives together. I mean, what's up with that? But they, they, they don't fear the streets. They don't feel the, they don't fear the negative energy. They don't fear the drama. They don't fear none of that. But you fear to get your life together. Mm -hmm. What kind of sense is that making people? It's not making no sense at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta make a choice. You gotta make a wise choice. And what I've been, my birthday was Wednesday. I just turned 52. Let's go. And what God was telling me in my head, make logical decisions, mm -hmm. rational decisions. Mm -hmm. I kept hearing that in my head. You got to make rational decisions. You got to make rational decisions. That's what you guys have to do. You have to make rational decisions in life. You can't just go with the Willy Bobo and fall victim and want somebody to help you when you fall victim of it. And we out here trying to help y'all out to give you motivational speaks and words of, of wisdom and encouragement. 
What you gonna do? Bro, elaborate, cause I'm getting fed you up. Gotta, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fed up, bro. You gotta I feel like I feel like this. In order for you to change, you gotta get sick and tired. And then when you get sick and tired, then you gotta learn how to balance and adapt. Some of us don't know how to adapt, which takes off the balance. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, so, so now we're trying to balance and adapt. Mm -hmm. You gotta pick one, or you gotta pick both. But I, what I've learned through what helped me was I had to do it in increments, mm -hmm. just like that set that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. What was easy, what was hard, will eventually become easy. Like, mm -hmm. like people don't understand. Like your mind is like a sponge, man. Whatever you tell it. It's gonna believe it. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, yo, Mark, yo, I jump off this building. Mm -hmm. Not knowing I'm gonna jump off the building, probably hurt, you know what I mean? Some ligaments or whatever the case may be. But it starts with the order, yo, you gotta know what you want. The person that you look at, at the mirror or in the mirror, I should say, you gotta tell that person. Because when you tell that person, like, yo, you know what, I'm gonna change. Now you letting the mind know, like, yo, I'm not gonna compromise. I'm gonna go beyond the measurements. I'm not gonna let nobody stop me. I don't care what he or she say. I'm gonna do my thing. And I think once you put that in order, everything else is just gonna follow suit. But you gotta understand that, again, things that are hard will eventually become easy. So you gotta go through it. Even when it don't feel good, you got to just keep going through it. You just got to keep pushing. You just got to keep pushing. And when you finally get there, it's all going to be worth it all. It's going to be worth it all. It's going to be worth and it I'm all. And I'm tired. I'm up, uh, brother. I mean, cut your wisdom. Nah, you good. You I'm good. so tired of people saying they don't give a F about this. They don't oh, give a man. F about that. <laughs> Come on, you got to care about something. I'm so tired of people saying they don't give a F about stuff when they know they need to get their priorities straight. Absolutely. And if I love you, I'm going to tell you to get yourself together. Because when people love me, they're going to tell me like, bro, you got to get it together. So I'm telling you, bro, sis, whoever, get it, get it together. together. Accountability, baby. We are so, I'm so tired. Of hearing about the statistics of the incarceration rate, the murder rate, mm. the crime, everything. I'm so tired of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to make a change. And the only way we be able to make a change is us coming together. And so many people talking about, we need to get, we know better, we need to get it, we need to get it right and all this stuff. And we out here trying to get it right. Mm -hmm. Why these other, oh my God, Come you know on. what I'm saying? Come on. I'm so tired of hearing bad reports about our community. It's just getting on my nerves, yo. Mm -hmm. It's really getting on my nerves. Man, shout out to all the people who try to get themselves together, man. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to all the people, man, that's 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 working towards something. You may not have it together, but you're working towards something. That's just enough right At there. At least try. Yeah, try. And these sources out here for you to get yourself on your feet and to get yourself together. As far as getting your credentials, your ID, Social Security, I'm telling people about all these different outreach programs that's willing to help people get on their feet, to help them find a job, to yeah. help them get an ID and Social Security card. If they want to get further their education, get their driver's license, I need to get that myself, though, mm -hmm. for real. But they got all these sources out here for to get people in, in order to have themselves balanced out. Absolutely. Why would you want to just settle for this BS out here? Why, though? It ain't nothing out here. It ain't no love on these mean streets, and you still gonna go out here and try to act like it's love out there. Bro, I'm so tired, man. It's, it's, it's never gonna be love on the streets, and whoever, a young brother that's locked in or looking in, or whoever's locked in looking at this, it's no love out there in the streets. It's only opportunity. Opportunity. Opportunists, right? So, what I mean by that is, in the streets, it's called a come up. What can I do to come up by any means necessary? Mm -hmm. So it's no love out here. So if you are that guy that's trying to, you know, play the street life, I can raise my hand. That's not it. Mm -hmm. Find you something that you good at. Follow your dreams and lay that street stuff alone, man. Please, be, for me, be constructive. <laughs> be constructive, not destructible. Be constructible, not destructible. I mean, it's just easy. If you can go out here and slap somebody in the face for no apparent reason, you know that person is a good person. You know that person's on that right, uh, right path of 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 a positive energy and all that. You know that person's about that, and then you won't come around and show your negative energy to that positive person. 
it's just crazy how this world is. Man, yeah, it's just... I'm so, so, so tired of hearing bad reports. Man, shout outs to everybody in Somerset County, Worcester County, Somerset, uh, Y, Comma, Cole, the whole Eastern Shore, everybody all over the world, man. Try to focus on neg uh, don't focus on negative energy, focus on positive energy only, that's man. It, that's it. So tired of hearing this, man. Grab the energy. Grab, Grab it. that vibration. And utilize it. You yeah, there you go. Utilize it, man. Embrace it. Like it's yours because it's still your set. God gave us an opportunity to wake up in the morning to, to, to make ourselves better. Every day. Every day. Those who's addicted to Whoever, whatever, kind of drugs, drink, whatever. My prayers are going out to you guys. Mm -hmm. It's a way out. You know what I mean? That's if you're willing to go and get the help that you deserve, God's going to make sure he see you through it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, it, it, I mean, God is not going to make you go to a destructive state of mind or a destructive environment. I mean, it, it's there for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But absolutely. God is not going to. God fixes things. And he also tears things apart. Now, some people, you know, have their different types of karma. You know what I mean? Some people have their different types of karma. It comes at people have their own little different things. But if you focus on positive stuff, God going to see you through. Oh, yeah. Now, if you don't walk around this attitude, I don't give a F about this. I don't give a F about that. You're going to continue to see destructive mess. I said. You're going to continue to see Destructive mess. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yes. Any shout outs you want to give, bro? I'm tired now. Man, I want to <laughs> shout out to everybody that is doing their thing. Most importantly, God, my wife, um, everybody that's in the community that is doing something in the community. Community, salute to y'all, man. Mm -hmm. Salute to the, the youth, the new leaders, the about to be leaders, man. And that is it. And don't forget, speak positive and dream big and all the mentors all the motivational speakers out there let's press on yo let's keep let's get these people in the right mind state and all that mm -hmm. let's continue to do what we doing because without us it would be a disarray because we are reaching somebody somebody's getting touched right now somebody's feeling this 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 uh film right now this live, <laughs> yo, <laughs> you gotta feel this, man. You gotta feel that energy. The energy frequency is so high. Like, you just gotta it's feel so much, it. It's Come so much. The only thing I can do is just encourage people. I do not like tearing nobody down or talking bad about no one. I always try to look up the, on the up and up. You know, I'm not a judgmental person. You know what I mean? I always try to make sure that I embrace people with open arms. Mm -hmm. You know, I, all, I, t I take my back off. And give it to you. I feed you when you want to be fed. I open my door if you need a place to stay. But don't be trying to take advantage of a person who's willing. You know these people is willing to do these type of things. Don't take advantage of these type of people because they are not going to be around forever. Man, absolutely. That was good. That was some good food right there. That was that was, that was that was definitely good food. Just remember, man. Just it takes a village to win. I don't believe nobody can do it by themselves. It takes a village, a village to win. And that's the message, man. Like if you are you want to win, that's how you win. Don't be don't 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 feel as if you can't coexist with certain people cuz your your inner peace is going to let you know if you should or you shouldn't. Believe in God, man. Let your purpose speak out loud because all of us got a gift. All of us got a gift. It ain't like even from doing hair to cutting hair, man. doing fingernails and manicures, all all that type of stuff. It's a gift. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, why is it so hard for y'all to comprehend when it's time for you to give it up? Give up all that nonsense. Do something right for yourself. Some of you got kids. Mm. Do it for them. That's a big one. Do it for them. You, you might, might got somebody on the deathbed, and they know you out here messing up. Clear yourself up and get yourself together, yo. I'm so tired of hearing this bad stuff yeah. all the time, yo. Yeah. That's not our community. That's not what we stand for. We stand for unification and try to get these babies right, man. Yeah. You said something, you said something real good there, man. You know, 
some some of these kids don't have. I get emotional here. Yeah, yeah. Some of these some of these kids don't. Some of these kids don't have a say so in certain situations mm -hmm. because they was brought in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I witnessed throughout the years. You know, mentoring or being an influence in certain kids. And then you look at like they the environment and it's like, God, man, you know, they don't even have a way out. Outside looking in, it's like, yeah, he does or she does have a way out. But it starts with, and I don't care who like this, it starts with teaching. Mm -hmm. If you are a parent, teach. That's it. Mm -hmm. The same way you was taught, if it was bad, figure out how to teach another way. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that a parent, when you do teach a kid, that they're not going to make mistakes because they are. But I don't call them mistakes no more. I call them building character. Mm -hmm. Because the more mistakes that you go through, the more character that you build. You that. get what I'm saying? Yeah, bad or good, you still going to build character. You still going to build character. I don't care if you're doing a bad or good. You're still going to learn and gain from what you're doing. You see, period. If, you, if you're the age at where I'm at right now, you are who you are. <sighs> I don't have to be cool. I don't have to be a hip hop fanatic. I'm already that. You know what I mean? I'm al already a given person. I'm already a humble person. I'm 52 years old, so I'm already these specific things. Mm -hmm. The young is out here. You build character. Build your character in a sense where you can be rememberable. If you have kids, be rememberable to your kids in a positive light. Mm -hmm. Instead of, I remember my days to do all this negative, all this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff. No. Change the narrative. Change it, yo. <laughs> he got a place for you. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They got a place for you. And the ones that's coming up, the, the, the youngest is up and coming, the ones that's supposed to be, uh, what's the word for it? The one that's supposed to be out here bad, big and bad. Man, I don't know. They got so many names now, man. They got... <laughs> Steppers, and Steppers and all that, man. right? <laughs> I got something to tell y'all. It's somewhere for y'all. Y'all, some of y'all never got locked up before. You think your homeboy's gonna be there when you get locked down behind that wall, y'all? Do you actually think they're gonna be there for you? Nah. It's a I, whole different story behind that wall, boy. So y'all better get it together. I don't, I don't know, know who need to hear this, but somebody needs to. Get it right, man. I'm tired of hearing about these bad reports on. On, on crime and, and, and people getting hurt, man. It hurts my heart that hear people get hurt, man, over senseless nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, somebody got to speak about, uh, speak about it. If we continue to see this, nobody saying anything. Oh, this is this is the norm now. No, it's not. It's not. It's not it's, the it's, norm. It's, it's, it's not the norm. And you know, you know, hey Mark, you know another thing that I've realized because I, I pay attention to a lot. I've realized that when people, when folks die, that's when everybody comes together. Mm -hmm. And then when they come together, it turns into a movement. Mm -hmm. After it died, it dies down. You still don't see no more unity. It's like it fades away. Yep, so it's quick. like now we're not glorifying the person that passed away. We're glorifying the death. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that we all got to work on. We got to work on that. It's not a game. It's not a movement. It's life. People, people don't live forever. So you got to create that in your mind to understand that when we die, you have to continue to keep going. Life ain't for you to be stagnant. And and, 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 and and throw the towel in because my mom passed or my brother passed. Or don't use that my, as an excuse. Yeah, don't don't use that. And I'm not saying that you're not going to have times when you go grieve, right? Because you are. Yeah. What I'm telling you is understand the formula of life. We live to die. That's plain and simple. So me, being that you know that, you got to make life so perfect to you that only you can say your life is perfect. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's, that's just pretty much it. Keep I'm, giving you some, I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all a lot of gems to be able to help y'all to endure the storm. Because see, it's, it's something about a storm, right? A storm comes unknown. It could be sunny today and say it's going to be sunny tomorrow, but then a storm surpasses. Then what? 
That's why they say be prepared for the storm so you don't have to be prepared. So what I'm telling you guys that is locked into this, you know what I mean, this, this, this empowering message, understand and learn life. And I'm going to elaborate on life just a little bit more because I want y'all to, I really, really want y'all to really eat on this. We're born to live. But then we live to live, not live to die. Because once you leave here, you got two places you're going to. It's either heaven or hell. It's, it's one of the two, right? So being that we know that it's one of the two, the mind should comprehend, all right, if I already know it's two places that I can go, go to, it should make you want to go to a better place, period, here on earth and when you leave. Because in all reality, when I die, my kids are looking at the body because my soul is already gone. You catch that? So I'm going to say it one more time because I, I feel like I, I want y'all to feed on this. Once a person dies, you're crying at the body because the spirit and the soul is already gone. So now we live through the spirit and not the body. Your body is going to be in the grave at first. bro. I was in the Jinko Jeno Jenkins. <laughs> that guy does not play. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about. I was just listening to that the other day. Uh, go wherever you can. Go to YouTube and look at that. Uh, look at that segment when he was talking about what happens after you die. After you die, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. I'm gonna check that out, man. Check that out. I'm gonna definitely it's gonna, check that out. It's gonna change your whole perspective on how what happens after you die. Yeah, I wanna. I really wanna do this. because so, the people, man. Like I, I. I my, my my heart go my heart be like I be feeling people's pain. I feel like that's a gift that I got. And when when a close family member passes away, I don't like seeing people that hurt to where it is they're hurting so much where they hurt somebody else mm -hmm. and they hurt. I mean, but everybody got uh 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 uh. It's so crazy to be ready to go to war real quick, but it's so hard for them to pay for a funeral. You know what I'm saying, like. Why would you put yourself in that predicament knowing you ain't got no money to pay for nobody's funeral? We got to wake up, man. We definitely I'm Like wake I up. said, bro, I ain't mean cut you. I'm no, so no, no, you tired good, you good. of hearing bad reports about our black community, period. I'm tired, yo. All over the Eastern Shore, all over America, all over the world. Us, this black skin here, we're going through a spiritual war. Mm -hmm. We've been going through it for over five, 400 years, almost five. Yeah. Come on, man. We got to change the narrative about us as a people. We have to. And continue to bless these children with jewels, whoever you are. I had to bring my man on here. I've been watching him for a few months. Anna. And he, hit, he, hurt, he touched my heart when, you know, I seen one of his segments. I'm glad you came to the show. Man, appreciate you. Thanks for having me. And anytime you want to come me. back and want to speak to the masses, you're welcome. Man, thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because we need you. more of this instead of chopping each other down. We need to lift each other up. We need to lift each other up. Y'all, I'm so tired. We, we have, you got to be tired, too. So, um, mad shout-outs to everybody who's watching the Mark Ballard Show. Absolutely. And a uh, uh, special shout out to Rat Fiend Radio, Rush the Guillotine, and Epiphany Music Group. Love you guys, man. For giving me the opportunity to be in the airways every weekend, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Rat Fiend Radio. Those who want to reach me, uh, go to markbowshow at gmail.com. I have the link for you if you want to listen to the 24 hour syndicated hip hop stations called Rat Fiend Radio. Yo, we about to roll out of here, man. And continue the rest of our day. But each and every last person who's watching the show, I pray that everybody be encouraged by this segment. And I think that everybody should be. And encourage one another. Encourage them. And the ones who don't have nowhere to turn, look up to God. Come on. Look up to God. And God will see you through. We out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Peace and blessings.